I really love popular music. I can appreciate any genre. Rock, jazz, hip hop, country, 60s girl group, they all take me somewhere. But there's a reason you won't hear death metal or gangster rap playing in the grocery store. Sure, they're trying not to offend the little old lady in aisle four. But more importantly, they want their shoppers to feel good. Happy people lower their inhibitions and will tend to do more impulse buying simply because they're in a great mood. Grocery stores purposely play upbeat, toe-tapping songs that everybody knows, and it has an amazing effect on every person that passes through the doors. It's so effective, in fact, that I've even read money-saving tips suggesting that I wear earphones while I shop just so that I don't fall victim to their sorcery. Imagine you go to the store to buy some milk and eggs, and the store is playing classic hip-hop. At first you think it's kind of weird, kind of funny, but then as you let that genre of music take you to where it's supposed to take you, your face would eventually take on the look of a rough gangster from the streets. You'd start walking that walk, the one that says, don't mess with me. Can you imagine everyone in the store walking around looking like they're serving hard time? It's a ridiculous mental image. But isn't that exactly what happens to us when we're listening to that same music on our way to work or while we're working in the garage? And then what? Something slightly annoying happens, and because the music we have playing has us already primed to be mad at something, our temper is short and our patience is non-existent. Again, I fully appreciate where angry music takes me, especially when I'm actually angry and I want to really wallow in it for a little while. But if I'm in a great mood, I don't want to listen to music that's going to bring me down. Conversely, if I want to pull myself out of a funk, emo death metal is probably not going to do the trick. We can actively choose to be happier, especially when cheery music is involved in the process. Listening to positive music is an effective way to increase joy, particularly when it's combined with an intention to become happier. We can purposely make positive mental changes, and those changes will lead to new positive experiences in life. Actively pursuing joy may seem like a self-centered luxury to some, but science suggests that joy relates to socially beneficial behavior, better physical health, higher income, and greater relationship satisfaction. Today's Joy Kwon Do exercise is to make a clean, uplifting music playlist. The longer the playlist, the better. If inspiration hits you, make several playlists of different music genres. These playlists will help you keep that joy shield in place that you've just adorned yourself with. In case you feel that shield slipping off, have those playlists ready and accessible at all times. If you decide to start playing this uplifting music all day long and nothing else, you'll see an insane amount of transformation in your life. And literally all you're doing is letting positive messages seep themselves into your brain while you do other stuff. Life-changing. <laughs> <laughs> 